Hey everybody, welcome back to Shock and Schlock. I'm your host, Herschel Gills, and today I'm back sooner than previously. And guess what? I'm going back with a, another sleazy, skeezy, and silly little review. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about perhaps my new favorite um, adult film ever made. That is Getting Personal from 1985, directed by Henry Pichard, I want to say Pichard, maybe Packard, but it's P-A-C-H-A-R-D, from 1985, released by Quality X, can't show the back because YouTube will probably flag it, there's not nudity, but I don't want to take risk, um, anyway, stars, uh, Colleen Brennan and Herschel Savage, um, which is where a lot of people think my name came from, which it's not, but I do like Herschel Savage, so, anyway, uh, the story follows this man named Willie, who's this immigrant, um, delivery man who is trying to get a green card in the U.S. because he wants to live, you know, there, start his, you know, his view of, like, the American dream, um, this mid-80s, you know, fitting, I would say, um, he meets this uh, prostitute named Wanda, uh, he sort of likes her, and he makes a deal with her that he will pay her to marry him so he can get his green card and then divorce him, and they'll go their separate ways, and he'll, he'll pay her for it. Um, and Wanda agrees to this, and things don't necessarily go as planned as Wanda has had debts to this man um, named Jimmy, who's this, like, really awful disgusting bar club owner um, who makes her do gross things for money. And yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything because this actually does like have a really impactful ending, which I'll get to. But anyway, even for a, you know, almost 40-year-old adult film at the end of the day, I don't want to spoil anything. Because this film is genuinely probably one of the best films of the 80s in general. Um, I gave this five stars on Letterboxd. I stand by that. I'm definitely going to be watching it again. And weirdly enough, it's a movie that I would recommend um, for other people. And I, you know, if you're one of the, if you, if you want to watch an adult movie with your friends and you're all on the same page of enjoying it, um, not in the typical way this was intended for, which I'll also get into because if you're getting off to this one, maybe, maybe, maybe get some therapy. I'm not saying get some help, but you, go talk to someone, you know? Someone will listen to your problems. <laughs> this is not like a king shaving thing. I just mean this movie is monumentally depressing. Um, and intentionally so. Uh, Henry Pichard or Packard... I'm going to say Pichard for the sake of the review. Uh, he also made Internal Affairs and Mascara, which I haven't covered. But Mascara, spoiler alert, is another one of my favorite films in general from the 80s. Uh, came out two years, or three, two years before this one. Um, Co-directed with Roberta Findlay, who's also a master at the craft. Um, but yeah, this film is sort of like a very dark look at the American dream and are like an immigrant trying to achieve that for themselves um, and I feel like it's a very realistic depiction of that despite being an adult film I mean there's still obviously sex scenes in this I mean that's what it is um, but I will say the story in this one comes first and foremost before everything else um, the sex scenes in this actually add to the story several times. They never feel like superfluous to the, like, what's going on. Um, and the characters are very realistic. Like, um, Herschel Savage's portrayal of Willie in this is probably the best, like, acting, like, genuine acting performance I've ever seen in an adult film, other than maybe Jamie Gillis in, um, the opening of Misty Beethoven which I'll review eventually. I did a podcast on it with Spooky Celluloid. Go listen to that. 
Um, we did a Jamie Gills episode. Yes, he's a very complicated figure, scumbag, but, you know, was in some important things and undeniably had an impact on the industry. Also, not where my... Gillis is not from that either, for mine. <laughs> anyway, um, Herschel Savage in this. Stellar. Um, g- delivers a genuinely great acting performance. Sure, you know, he is in the sex scenes and does what he needs to do there, but even in those, like, his mannerisms and his physical acting are a step above what you would, you know, I am, I've seen many an adult film, um, for the, I actually watch these for the plot, um, but I think for, like, a more general audience, you wouldn't expect the acting in this type of film to be to the level that Herschel Savage delivers here, um, he totally blends into the role as Willie, and I think as a protagonist, he is likable, but realistic, like, he definitely has his flaws, um, and that's definitely part of it, he's a very, by the end of this, he is a changed man, and he experienced, like, the darker underbelly side of America and the American dream, um, like, things that he got involved in to reach that point kind of caused him to spiral, um, same with Wanda in this, who's played by Colleen Brennan, also really good in this, um, she was actually in several non-adult films as well, you know, maybe some softcore stuff, but like, um, she's in Foxy Brown, uh, Ilsa, She-Wolf, the SS, uh, Russ Meyer, Super Vixen, stuff like that, and she does a really good job in this, also with the physical performance, but you really sense, like, the desperation of the character, um, and the acts that occur in this film, and there are some sleazy, nasty stuff in this, for being a adult film, the sex scenes in this are very unerotic, for a lack of a better term, maybe in the beginning they're more traditional, but there's a scene involving, like, a public restroom in this that is absolutely filthy, and it's not, like, in a, like, fetishy sort of way, it's meant to, like, really show, like, how deep these characters have gone to sort of reach like, the bare minimum to just live in the United States at this time, like, they're both very desperate, and there's a final act towards the end that the two leads coerce two other people, I won't spoil how any of them are related to one another or anything like that, um, but it's very, like, it's portrayed and feels very gross and wrong, and, like, forced, and it's just very uncomfortable to watch, and the characters, like, acknowledge this, it's not even, like, in the act, they are not, like, enthused, I would say, and they kind of just sit on this couch at the end of the movie, um, just thinking about what happened, um, and what the what happens there, like, the final, like, dialogue exchange between Wanda and Willie is really interesting, um, Wanda asks Willie how he's feeling, because there's been, like, this fight, and things have just happened, and he says, I think I'm scared, and she says, welcome to America, Willie, and the movie ends, it is a gut punch, I won't spoil what caused that, but I have to bring up that line, it is my favorite line of probably any, like, film of this kind. It is a brilliant line that's perfectly summarizes the movie. Um, reminded me of the final line from Happiness from Todd Salons, which I won't say here because you should just watch that movie too. Um, and the line is filthy and out of context. It won't make you want to watch the movie, but it just summarizes like everything in the film so perfectly. Like it's such a perfect end cap. And the way the film is portrayed is also, like, the way it's told is really interesting. Like, the film sort of shows you the ending first, and then it, throughout the story shows how you got there, and then has the ending, which is a very, you know, ambitious storytelling device for this. 
Uh, it really is a masterpiece. The acting is stellar. The music is stellar. The cinematography is great. I love the settings in this. Everything sort of feels like it has this connection. Like the flow of the places we're going makes sense. It, you'll see what I mean if you watch the movie. Um, everything seems really realistic. Like this like crappy apartment that they're in. Or the club is really, really seedy looking. Or, you know, the public restroom scene, as I said previously, probably was just filmed in a public restroom. Um, and it's just stellar. This is one of my favorite movies I've seen in quite some time. And maybe one of my favorite films I reviewed on the channel in general. Um, I highly recommend this, even if you're not a fan of this type of cinema. If you're going to watch, like, one adult film uh, from this era, watch this one. I would say this is a a 10. It's a 10. Um, it's so good. Uh, everything in it is just perfect. I'm really looking forward to doing more Henry Pichard movies on the channel. I'm going to review Mascara eventually. I'm going to review Internal Affairs eventually, and we'll go from there. Anyway, that's it for getting personal. I absolutely love this film. I think you should definitely pick it up. It is one of my favorite discoveries of the last few years, even, um, so yeah, keep it a watch, and as always, I've been your host, Herschel Gill, signing off for today, make sure to subscribe if you haven't, keep your notifications on, and as always, zero thoughts, zero endings, zero brain cells, and zero planning, I will see you guys this week, thanks for watching.